Oh, hi all. In today's session, uh, we will take a, a full cycle demo of auto to cash flow. Like we will create your order, we will ship confirm and create invoice. So let's start. To create your order in Oracle EPS, uh, just log into the Oracle application and go to the order management responsibility and then click on the new order. So once you are in our order management responsibility, just go to the order return and then or you can say uh, order return and then say order organizer. To create your order, you need a customer. You need an order type. You need a price list. Other additional details required is like your payment term, your shipping method, warehouse. Once you add information come to the line, other area prerequisite for the order is you should have an item and you should have an item associated with a price list. Once you enter the order header and order line, book your order. Once the order is booked, just write down the order number and go to the shipping transaction form. In shipping transaction form, we will uh, pick the product from the warehouse, pack it and then ship confirm and ship confirm. Enter your order number, search for the order. Where you can see your order line is now ready to for pick release. Go to the action and launch picker list. Launching a picker list will uh, submit a concurrent request. Picker list, this is still pending standby. Just wait for this to complete. Okay, just search for uh, your order again. And as you can see, the status is still released to warehouse, but the next step is now the transaction move order. Uh, now do your order number. Log into the inventory transaction inventory responsibility. So we are in inventory responsibility and do a move order transaction. Our org is M1. Go to the peak wave and enter your order number. And transact it. As you see, there's no more data is there. Let's go back to the order management responsibility again. Search for your order. Sorry, uh, let's go to shipping transaction form. As you can see, the now the status is ship confirm. I mean, next step is ship confirm. Come to the delivery. This is my delivery number. So ship confirm. We don't want to defer the interface trip stop. So this is uncheck. Delivery is ship confirm. As you can see, the status is open. But once you're done, it's closed. Now, if you go to the order management, Search for your order. Line is still shipped and not closed. And if we look in the workflow status, it will be uh, still not closed. So let's go back and submit a request of workflow background process.
my item type is om or line i just want to do the defer on the defer process so say now to the other so now the workflow background process is completed and it is uh, trigger the order invoice to create the invoice now if i query my order again The line is closed now. To see if an invoice is created or not, let's go to additional. And as of now, I don't see any invoices created. Let's check the status of my auto invoice request. Uh, see, as you can see, it's uh, auto invoice is still running. Now, as you can see, the auto invoice is completed. So let us check the status of the order again. See, as you can see, the invoice is created. So this is my order number, the reference. That is my ship to pill to, and um, this is a additional uh, I mean line information. As you can see, this is my sales order details. So that, that's the complete uh, cycle from order to cash. And not exactly order to cash. It's like uh, creating your order and then picking, packing, shipment from, and creating the invoice. If you uh, need any additional information, please feel free to leave comments in comment section. Thank you. Bye.